What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I am going to be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM based on Android 10 and this is the 19th November 2019 built on this device. So let's see what else are like in the about section and stuff. So let me quickly jump into it and in the like Android version on top it shows the Evolution X logo and then we have the Android version as Android 10 of course and let me go back and the evolution x version you can see it says wicked version 3.3 for rafael and 19th november 2019 official build and the security patch is latest november 5th 2019 and here the stock kernel is perf kernel and the build number you can see it from here let me go back quickly and in the system settings we have the system updater so i think you can check for updates whenever there is a new update now let's talk about flashing well, you have to be on the latest MIUI 11 Android Q firmware if you have a Indian variant of the Redmi K20 Pro. And on this, you need the MIUI 11 firmware. If you don't have that, I'll give the direct link in the description box below. Make sure you have the Orange Fox recovery to flash this ROM. So first thing, if you are not on the MIUI 11 firmware, so the first thing you need to flash is the MIUI 11 firmware. And of course, you need to wipe cache, Dalvik system and data. And also vendor if you are not in like the same MIUI 11 latest Android Q firmware. You need to wipe vendor only if you want to flash vendor. Otherwise, if you were already on stock MIUI 11 ROM, you don't need to wipe vendor or you don't even need to flash the new vendor. So you can just clean flash this ROM file and the fcrypt disabler if you want to be decrypted. So that is how easy it is and you don't need any separate gapps for this ROM because this ROM already includes gapps in the like zip file itself. So that is really good. Now let's talk about the stock launcher here. This is like basic launcher. Let me show you. The settings panel looks like this. You can disable the suggestions and stuff if you feel that's annoying. And here you can see, let me show you. This is the pixel launcher. So nothing much present over here. So you don't get a lot of customizations like double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen. And like you can swipe down anywhere in the home screen to get to the like quick settings panel. As you can see, you can swipe it from anywhere. To the left, we also have the Google Drive cards. And if you like swipe up, let me show you like this, there is the app drawer. So that is how it is. And the launcher is really, really smooth. No issues whatsoever that I could find with this launcher. And let me show you the wallpapers here. You also get the live wallpapers of this like Android 10. And here, if you go into this live universe, you get a lot of wallpapers. You can download much more of them. As you can see, I am using this like earth view wallpaper, as you can see. So you can use like any live wallpaper if you want to and on the K20 Pro these live wallpapers do not hamper the performance at all. So I'm using it like really smoothly and the thing is this like always on display is working fine too and the always on display brightness I would say is a little bit more when compared to the other ROMs and if you look closely let me zoom in a little bit in this like ambient display or always on display so here the fingerprint scanner color is like blue over here by default you don't like need to change it or something this is like comes as blue and this is how it unlocks and as you can see it, the unlocking speed is really really fast no issues whatsoever that i could find with this like unlocking speed and stuff let me do it one more time so it unlocks fairly fairly quickly i would say as you can see, the fingerprint scanner speed is not bad at all over here. And there is also double tap to sleep and stuff. So let me do this and double tap over here. Look at the animations when I unlock. So as you can see, the live wallpapers looks really, really amazing here, I would say. Now let me show you some more things like the quick setting panel, quick toggles. So here you can have the heads up and dark theme toggle. Well, I was using it with the dark theme. It's working fine but I just like disabled it because sake of the video. And let me show you the settings panel quickly. In the evolution settings, you will find all the customizations. So here we have the status bar and status bar items. You can have the headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons from here. Let me scroll down. You also have NFC, but the Indian variant does not have NFC. So yeah, and Volte icon is there, 4G icon is there. 
and right now the volte icon i don't know why it's not showing up but it does show up sometimes as you can see it's not showing up right now and the bluetooth battery stats and stuff is there then there is brightness control let me show you as you can see you can swipe on the status bar to control the brightness this is a really really helpful feature i would say and there is also network traffic activity you can have it if you want to now let me go back quickly and in the notification panel we have the heads up option you can disable it from here too and you can disable it from the quick setting panel too and you can edit and add more quick setting toggles as you can see there are a bunch of options over here now let me scroll down there is battery charging light then there is skill app and the in call vibration stuff is there like vibrate on call connect and waiting and even disconnect but let me tell you volte calls are working fine here but one problem that i see is there is no like call recording option and stuff so that's a bummer but yeah i can live with it in the quick settings panel we have the quick pull down and stuff then tile title you can have the column and row number customizations from here of the quick settings panel of course and there is power menu and we do have the advanced restart option as you can see you can tap on restart and you get like directly rebooting option to recovery fast boot or like bootloader and you also have more like flashlight screen record etc options are there and there is gestures well let me show you the asp gesture section and this android 10 gestures are working fine i have been using it from the beginning and it is working fine and swipe to take screenshot is there as you can see and it does not make the sound if you disable it from the sound settings which i'll show you later screen of power button torch is there but when the always on display is on the screen of power button torch simply does not work here for some reason maybe they will fix it in the future updates as you can see right now it shows the always on display but if i try to like tap and hold the power button it shows the lock screen it wasn't the case with lineage os so i think they will fix it with the evolution x rom so yeah and status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep and stuff is there so that's really cool and in the like lock screen settings we have the pocket detection fingerprint authentication and you can disable status bar in the lock screen if you want to there is charging info showing up in the lock screen while charging of course and media cover art and stuff is there but there is no always unlock with fingerprint scanner yet and there is like navigation panel and stuff as you can see we have the invert layout i mean if you were using any on-screen buttons here this would be helpful and in the hardware buttons we have the volume rocket keys and stuff and in the misc settings you can have this like default usb configuration and also you get the disabling wake up on charge option so i just like disabled it and in the display settings let me show you the night light option is here as you can see you can turn it on and like the display will turn yellowish it works fine no issues we have the auto brightness too if you want and live display is there so you can control the whole screen rgb thoroughly and there is hue saturation intensity and contrast adjustment of the screen now let me quickly go back from here and there is also style settings so you can like customize the whole theme over here so that is a really cool thing and there is screen uh, like attention stuff i am not sure if it will actually work and there is rotation option you can have like any kind of rotation from here even 180 degree so that's cool and in the color settings we have the natural boosted and like adaptive colors let me put to natural again and there is like the font size display size screen saver and the lock screen display is there and here as you can see the always on display is on i turned this notification and ambient wake gesture off and double tap to wake is there let me see if the double tap to wake is actually working so yeah as you can see the double tap to wake actually works and there is accent color option lot of accent colors are present over here so no issues with the accent colors or themes over here so you can have xiaomi purple orchid golden shower etc one plus even like lot of accent colors are there and we also have this body font option so there are these many options you can see from here we have the google sans rubik and lot of options and there is icon shapes you can choose it to be teardrop square kill rounded rectangle etc options are there and in terms of battery settings here is how it looks like you have the battery percentage enabling option it also shows the battery temperature so that's really cool and talking about battery life it is really great and like i have been getting really good battery life here are some screenshots for you and also this rom supports fast charging here and 18 watt fast charging of course and it is like almost charging at 3090 mAh so that's really good in the sound settings let me show you that we do have the mi audio direct but it doesn't work right now i think whenever you put your headphone in it should work fine but right now it does not work for some reason but yeah it does work i have tested this mi sound direct or audio direct you can disable screenshot sound touch vibration touch sounds etc options are there 
you have the vibrate on calls of course now here i have installed the oneplus camera and anx camera i flashed it the version 158 i think and google camera is present by default here so this google camera 7 you will get by default in this rom no issues whatsoever with this google camera and even all the lenses are working fine here with this like google camera so that is really good that we get by default google camera 7 and you can flash like anx camera if you want to as you can see even with this the like all the lenses are working fine i have the 158 version again and this oneplus camera 2 is working fine if you want this i'll put the link in the description box below and this is a just a apk i just installed it and everything is working fine and even with the front camera let me show you this like notification led and stuff is working fine with the front camera leds now let me talk about some more things like this recorder is present by default but with the in device mic i would say this just cannot record in audio as you can see the timer is stuck at 0.00, .00 and it does not transcript anything and it does not even pause i just have to like remove it from memory and stuff so yeah it does not work with the like default like mic but as soon as you insert a headphone or something in the device this starts working flawlessly so that's a good thing that the recorder is there but it's kind of buggy as of right now now let me quickly show you the drm info here the drm info shows as level one i think the netflix and amazon prime videos should be working with 1080p here so that's not a problem and here the google pay and stuff is like not working by default at least but you can get it to work by like disabling phone and sms app permission from the google play services now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app and up speeds and the ram management here let's open play store youtube now let's open instagram spotify now let's open all the apps from memory again as you can see the app open up speeds is like really fast and snappy it's like totally buttery smooth no issues whatsoever that i could find here app switching is a breeze no issues whatsoever anywhere like regarding the performance over here and here is the end to score now let me quickly show you the graphics performance here in PUBG. So as you can see, you get the highest settings possible, which is HDR and extreme. So not a problem here with the PUBG graphics settings. I don't see any issues with the PUBG performance here. The graphics performance is really good. So I can recommend you guys this ROM for like gaming and stuff because the performance is really great. Even the gaming performance is fine. Battery life is great. There is customizations and the UI looks pretty good. There is double tap to sleep and stuff. Then there is these live wallpapers by default. I'm like running out of things which are like good enough for this ROM. I would say everything is working pretty fine, almost flawlessly over here. So I have no complaints using this ROM as a daily driver. And of course the Evolution X ROM has better customizations than the Lineage OS 17 that I can confirm. And even the boot animation and stuff looks really really cool. Let me show you. And whenever you are using dark theme, this like the background becomes dark. So that looks really good on the AMOLED display here. So that was it guys regarding this like Evolution X ROM. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this Evolution X on the Redmi K20 Pro. And thank you so much for watching guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.